Hey guys. Atomic Blonde is a movie that I saw. All right, let's get into it. So <laughs> Atomic Blonde is directed by David Leach, who is the co-director of the first John Wick movie and the director of the upcoming Deadpool 2. And this movie tells the story of this secret agent who's got a mission during the cold, the end of the Cold War, fall of the Berlin Wall. And this movie is pretty basic. This movie takes a lot of things from a lot of other spy and espionage thriller action movies, recycles them but not in a great way. This movie has a lot of things that works in a lot of other movies that don't quite work so well in this one. And I gotta say, the biggest problem I have with this movie is it's just boring. Like, the, this movie could have, should have been really interesting, but it was just, it was just boring. I didn't, I mean, the action sequences are amazing. The action sequences are great. It's just that there's so few in the movie and there's so much in between that I just could not really enjoy the movie as much as I probably wanted to. I feel like if you take away some of the things that make the story of the movie so convoluted, shave off a good, I don't know, 30 minutes of the movie? You could have a pretty good, well-paced action thriller movie. Kind of just a fun little disposable movie. This movie is not even really all that fun. Because it's just not that good. I mean, it's good, it's just not that great. Let me say what's really good. The direction is great. David Leach is a good director. Charlize Theron is a good actress. She's really good in this movie. The action sequences involving her are really good. James McAvoy is a great actor. I love James McAvoy. And there's something with his character that happens in this movie that just... I didn't really find particularly all that great. Uh, you have John Goodman is in the movie. He's more of like a small cameo-ish part. Um, Sophia Botella, who uh, I actually thought was really good in The Mummy this year. She's in the movie as well. And um, Toby Jones is in the movie as well. And he also plays more of like a cameo-ish role. Nothing really huge. And he's great. I love seeing Toby Jones pop up in things. Uh, which reminds me, I still need to watch Sherlock season four, because I heard he's in there. Anyways, that's a, a different thing. So the cast, for the most part, is really great. The action scenes is really great. The script is really good. It's just, there's so much going on. The story is so convoluted, and it's all supposed to be told from the perspective that she is telling this to these guys. So it's constantly cutting back and forth between her in this interrogation room and then the actual story at hand. And it's just... I didn't really particularly like that that much because that takes away the stakes of the entire movie because you know that she survives. Now there is... A, Excuse me, there is a twist at the end involving her character that I just thought was kind of lazy and didn't really work for me that much. I mean, honestly, I kind of thought that the, the way this movie ended was a little just kind of stupid compared to the rest of the movie because, no spoilers, but it basically renders the rest of the movie kind of, the whole movie kind of meaningless. So I didn't really like 
a lot of the things that in this movie that weren't action sequences. The story just isn't that good. The, the movie has great characters, though. The characters are kind of the saving grace of this movie. Because, again, Charlize Theron is a great actress. Sophia Vitella is a great actress. James McAvoy is a great actor. John Goodman is a great actor. Toby Jones is a great actor. All these great actors and actresses are playing these great parts. Very well-written, well-performed. Just great performances. But the story that these characters and actors are being put into is not that good. So I guess I would recommend this movie if you're just looking for a light, disposable action movie. But I also wouldn't recommend it for the same reason, just because it's... The action sequences, while amazing, not gonna deny that... I won't deny that they're amazing action sequences. They're so few and far in between that... I would say probably just wait for it to come out on, like, DVD or Blu-ray and have a fast-forward button ready. Because that's the best I can say for this movie. Great performances and action and direction bogged down by a poor story. But stylistically, the movie is pretty good. Acting is pretty good. Characters are pretty good. It, it's... That's, uh, that's it. It's just the surface-level stuff is good. Then the deeper you go into it, the kind of worse it gets. Guys, I am going to give Atomic Blonde a C+. I was actually pretty fairly disappointed by this movie. I was hoping it was going to be, like, not really like John Wick, but, like, this year's John Wick-type movie where, like, John Wick was kind of a surprise, out-of-nowhere, great movie that no one really had on their radar. I was hoping that would be this movie for this year, and it just... It wasn't. It wasn't very good, and I can't find myself really recommending you go see it in the theater, but at the same time, I don't want this movie to, like, fail at the box office, so I'm not... I don't know, it's kind of like a paradox. I don't want you to see it in the theater, but I don't want it not to make any money, because it really is just an alright movie. It's not horrible it's not great it's just all right and yeah i that's the best thing i can say about this movie i i personally wouldn't go back to see it in the theater i will probably buy the blu-ray because i liked it enough that i will buy it on blu-ray but i might I don't know, maybe on a second viewing, I'll probably watch it one more time once it comes out on DVD and watch it all the way through and just see if maybe upon second viewing it gets a little easier to watch and a little bit better. But yeah, I can't really see just ever sitting down to watch it just to watch it the whole way through. I would probably see it more as getting it and watching it just to kind of skip a little bit through certain parts but yeah atomic blonde have you seen it let me know in the comments what you think about it and i will talk to you in the next video bye